You ever just want to sit back and relax, you know, just play some games and... Uh, I forgot the line. You ever want to just sit back and relax and just play some games with your homies, you know, but then... Your mic sounds like this. Or your mic sounds like this. Well, yeah, me neither. I don't, I don't have homies. So let's play a fun little game. Uh, can you tell which microphone is the ROG Ally X's microphone? Today we're taking a look at microphones. And we've got here the ROG Ally, and we've got the, um, a dynamic microphone, which is uh, a Fifine fine uh, dynamic microphone. And yeah, I hope uh, I hope they sound relatively decent here. Um, just to kind of give you a look here, um, probably can tell the difference. I don't think it's gonna be very difficult, but yeah, you know, it's just gonna be uh, pretty pretty decent to take a look at these different microphones. So um, yeah, while I while I go ahead and struggle with this. Uh, you guys get to enjoy maybe the ASMR. I'm not sure. So which mic do you think was the ROG LIX's microphone? Let me know in the comments down below and let's get right into the video. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah and welcome to yet another video. So we're going to take a look at basically how did we do this mic. Basically you start off with some mic settings. So the ROG Ally, the Armory Crate software you can see over here, actually gives you some microphone settings. So if you, usually you start off here, and if you go to the settings up here, uh, you can see audio right there. You can go to the audio section, and then you can see microphone modes, right? By default, it's set to single uh, presenter mode. And, um, you know, I've shown you one of the uh, sneak peeks of this in the intro. The second bad audio was this thing, the single presenter mode. And if you use any of these audios, they actually sound pretty crisp and pretty clear, but then they have this this whining noise from the fan or something, or some sort of interference, or both, because I've had that whining noise, uh, especially more when I'm playing games uh, and when the fan seems to spin up. So it's a combination of both. Uh, so, yeah. And if you turn it off, the whining is especially bad. The best, I think, is in the directional audio so far. You can stick to the directional audio mode. If you do want that 360 experience, you can go to 360 and then you can use both microphones at the same time and do some pretty nifty uh, ASMR, which maybe I'll have uh, some sort of a sneak peek somewhere. So I promised you guys some uh, microphone testing and this is the 360 mode with all the effects and you can kind of have a microphone on the right side, which is pretty nifty. And you can kind of move on to the microphone on the left side, which is also very nifty. So. I think you could do some pretty interesting things with this. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. We have a couple of softwares that we need. This software, which is basically called uh, APO or Equalizer APO. You can sort of see it, right? And the second thing you need is, is something called, uh, I think it's called uh, REA plugs. Basically a bunch of uh, plugins for this software. And essentially what that lets you do is it lets you customize your uh, audio devices on the PC without having a bunch of fancy softwares running in the background at all times. And the way you go about this is when you run this for the first time, or if you miss the running it for the first time, usually it asks you, do you want to install and which specific microphones or speakers do you want to be able to, to install APO interface so that it works with this particular software. If you missed it, you can just search up here. So configurator is what you're looking for right there. And it's going to essentially open this up. There you go. So this window usually pops up at the start. Now for me, I selected a bunch of like playback speakers. You don't have to do any of this. You just have to go to capture devices and make sure that microphone array, this one specifically is what we're looking for, is checked, right? And this is going to be the mic on your ROG Ally. Now, if you want the mic for your uh, headphone jack with, you know, this 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 nifty thing over here, which I don't know why it's, it's so dark, what's going on? Uh, if you want that, then basically you can, I think, also do this uh, Realtek audio one, this microphone. And this one's a VR microphone, which, you know, uh, more on that uh, later, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, now there's one thing that, it, that that I had issues with is when I clicked on, when I installed micro, like this to the microphone array, it wasn't actually still working for me. I thought it was a problem with plugins, but no. So if you had problem tr uh, trouble with that, just enable troubleshooting options and install as SFX 
slash MFX, this specific option right there. Just keep that in mind, and this will help you a lot. So like I said, I'm not, I don't want to mess with that right now. Yeah, so once you're done, it's going to ask you to restart. So you restart. Now what do we do? Basically just searched up uh, this particular thing, which is VST plugin replugs, and then you can see this, this very first link. This is what you're looking for, and you just go to that. You scroll down, and you download the 64-bit version right over there. Okay, perfect. And you can essentially, you know, in simpler words, uh, customize different frequencies of your microphone. So basically the high end, like the higher pitch voices or the mid end or the low end, like the bass sounds. And like I said, I already have this done, but what I've essentially done is that you can click on the plus icon and you can add the uh, plugin, VST plugin, and then you can browse to it. It's going to be basically in your program files. You'll say VST plugins, replugs, and then here we're going to get this. REA EQ standalone. And there you go. So now basically what's going to happen is again, you know, usually you have it like this. You know, you can you can also organize this. Mine is really not organized, but basically you have these two effects right here. You have the microphone and the whatever effect is underneath it is going to be applied to the microphone only now. And once you click open panel, you can see all the different frequencies here, right? And you can start customizing it. So for example, something around like 100 uh, frequency is going to be more deeper frequencies like the bass. And this is all like audio customization territory. I'm not an expert, but you can, if you want to give more bass to yourself, you can add like a little bit of gain, for example, like six gain, uh, you know, four to six, you know, I would say maybe eight if you want to go extreme, uh, but play around with that and you can. So this is kind of an option that you can absolutely do. So that being said, what I have done here is I have this particular uh, EQ that I've set up already. This one, I actually got this. So credits to the person who made this. Uh, I got this from Reddit from someone who was trying to fix the Quest 3's microphone. And more or less, I just used this entire this exact one because I was using it for my VR uh, device because Quest 3's mic kind of sucked. And I've kind of gone on the extreme end. I've kind of customized it here. But you can take a look at the frequencies. If anyone is interested, you can take a look at every single one. And you can add your own ones by essentially, I think... Uh, clicking on add band down here or removing band. So essentially I have like band number one, add a little bit of uh, more like lower frequency. And then you have 500. So this is kind of like, you know, uh, the mid end kind of 500, 1000, right? And seven in particular set to negative 24. Now this is a very specific reason I said that this low. This I have noticed around the 10,000 frequency line is where you see, you hear a lot of those high pitched like tone, like kind of noise, you know? that's coming from the fan and reducing this as much as possible helps a lot, but it can affect your voice as well, uh, which is why 5,000 is actually where your voice more or less lies in the higher pitch frequencies. Obviously this depends on your voice too. This is not this particular to everyone's voice, but generally speaking, you can copy these or you can just check out the file that I have linked in the description. But if someone doesn't have access to that, they can just take a look at this exact kind of thing that I have here and copy it one-to-one -one and you should be good to go. If I can click the last one. There we go. So uh, then to kind of bring back that that higher noise, we have this thing, which, you know, we're going to see that in a second too. But basically, this is the same exact thing. But all I've done is I've, I'm kind of on this uh, octave. I'm on the 5,000 frequency, and I've kind of increased the 6,000 gain once again. The reason I've done this is a bit different. Uh, to be fair, you can just combine these two. But I personally found it a bit easier and the result to be slightly, slightly better, maybe because of the combination of different frequencies in the other EQ, because it does affect the different octaves and lines. But like I said, no expert here, but this kind of brings back that clarity. And then we have preamplification, because though, because we kind of killed those frequencies so much, now we can use preamplification to bring back some of the voice, like, you know, kind of tone it up again. And I notice you can go from six to nine, and I think at higher parts, it might be a little bit bad. But generally speaking, you go six, nine, you can maybe, maybe even go 12. So you can increase this to kind of bring back, bring your voice back up if it's too quiet. And this is going to greatly help you. And there is some icing on top, which is basically this, which is R and noise suppression. And this one is essentially noise suppression, almost like AI based noise suppression. It is AI based noise suppression, basically for your microphone. And it works wonders. It will remove the background, you know, fan noises. It will remove like little uh, problems and stuff you might hear. And it will essentially mute your microphone if there is, if the volume level is too quiet, if it doesn't hear a certain volume level, uh, which is pretty good, very nice. So this one's, I highly recommend that. And you can actually download that if you just essentially go on and you get 
are in noise VST. I think you might be able to get it. This is first very first link. You go there. Uh, and I want to talk about this in a little bit in a little bit as well, but you can go here and you can go to releases and you can download the uh, latest version basically, which is the Windows one. But I've actually had issues with this version and there's a particular issue that I had. Uh, the noise canceling was really good, but uh, when I was playing at lower wattage on a VR chat or on different games, I noticed that because the wattage was so low and the game was really demanding power from the CPU, uh, it was really destroying essentially the audio. And you'll kind of see a sample too, probably somewhere. So the problem, so the problem is if you were to record and play this at the same time, uh, well, then you'll notice that it, it, sounds, uh, it sounds terrible. Yeah, you know? It sounded unusable and it was going speeding up, slowing down and, and stuttering a lot. And so for that reason, I actually ended up sticking with this, which is this version 0.91. And I just used the the uh, R noise uh, X64 bit, and that's it. And how do you use that? Same exact thing. You add the VST plugin, VST, and there you go. That's the plugin. Bam, you got the plugin. Uh, there is no panel. If you click that, it's just gonna like crash. The newer one has a panel. This one doesn't have any options uh, as far as I'm aware. They can edit. I think you can, but it's a bit different to edit them. But that's about it. So there you go. You got some noise canceling. You got some. Uh, you know, equalizer to the microphone, you got some, uh, you know, bringing back the, the higher pitch a bit, and then you got preamplification. Like I said, not an expert tutorial on audio editing, but just a kind of tutorial just to see, because I was just messing around with it, and I thought this would be something interesting to share with everyone, and I hope you guys like it. I think it sounds pretty good, and I think the, the, the results are quite satisfying, especially with what things you can actually do with this, so awesome. Now, there are other things too. Uh, for example, if we are talking about, you know, microphones and stuff, I'm going to basically make a sample and you, you're going to hear a bunch of samples here and there, but there are problems too. So there is, for example, the problem of pressing buttons. So if you are recording and stuff and you're pressing buttons, you know, like while, I'm, while you're talking and stuff, it does sound very bad. And it's kind of <laughs> like, honestly, it is, it is not good. It is not like bearable. Like, you know, especially like when you're going to be gaming and stuff. So, yeah. And then another thing is probably like when you're talking, there's going to be a lot of like loop back, like feedback from the speakers to the microphone. There is no such like noise canceling or, or, or audio or like uh, echo cancellation. I would recommend using headphones. But then if you have headphones with a microphone, that is just the better way to do it. So like I said, I'm not really sure who this is made for. But nonetheless, you know, I think this was a fun experiment. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing. And if you'd like to share me, then my Patreon is in the description. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And the fact that I can use 2x at medium resolution is insane.